Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense, but I try to keep it down under the nitty gritty under 10 minutes. If it goes over 10 minutes, there's something very, 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 very important. And these videos are not important to far leftists, social justice warriors, EDBs, NPCs, people who like to smoke, people who like to drink, people who like to watch up. That's about 80% of you, 80, 85, or even 90% of you. Don't watch the videos, not looking for your, your, your validation, your attention, or your check in the subscriber box. You know, no need to do that. These videos only for the few and the small elite of those individuals who are INFJs, which means look up the Myers Briggs, okay, and you will find that out. They're only 1% of the world. That's what they say, okay? You know, we are higher than the Sigmas and the Alphas. But of course, I've been called the Sigma many times before. But if you just read my credentials or who I am down below, you'll understand why it's very hard to be an INFJ. Okay, because you got yourself together. And also, you use a little bit of magic involved, kind of like the Sylvia method, okay, which is really hypnosis in a nutshell, okay, you know. But um, when this video is going to be about uh, the terminology I use to tell people about different variations of uh, the Myers-Briggs reports. But most people, to me, fall in either one or two categories, actually two or three categories, either you're emotional you're in, in the middle or you're you, you're not emotional, okay? You're not emotional, you're in the middle or you're just too emotional, okay? You're either an extrovert or an introvert, you're eccentric or you're not eccentric and you want to fit in, okay? So this video is basically describing what a schizo, see now schizo is the added terminology I used creatively because I have schizoaffective, Okay? And I want you guys to understand this. I have obtained my schizophrenic ability at the age of seven when I almost chopped off my stepdad's head because he was abusing me. I don't really have sins because I am too afraid or quote unquote paranoid, which is a great, this is the trait that's attached to the INF, um, you know, J, um, Myers-Briggs uh, personality. Um, a lot of times people get these things misconstrued because they're not those things. So they'll make up their little words and they'll make up their thoughts and their patterns like most millennials with their heads cut off i'm a gen x as well on top of that i am also the water dragon uh zodiac sign and the tiger from japanese and chinese zodiac signs did you know that but you don't know that because of course everyone is different and special in their own way when you encounter a person who is the one of the rarest of all times this is the traits that you will find out, okay? They plan everything up front. Everything you need to know will be there. And this is why I make videos about why most people can't be alphas, sigmas, or even indigo like myself. Jesus Christ, they don't exist. Born and raised in the 80s, alphas are a rare dime a dozen. Just the word alpha is just a rare dime a dozen because nobody can be there. Not Andrew Tate is an alpha, not Kevin Samuels is an alpha, even though I talked to these guys and I try. No, no, I didn't talk to Andrew Tate though, but when I talk about certain things, it tend to spread, but I have talked to uh, Kevin Samuels in my comment section in one of my YouTube videos, which probably got removed because we used to chat all of the time. And I told him he liked my content. And I said, yeah, you can learn a thing or two. Just, just watch me, even though he was older than me. I'm 49 this year, but I act, I'm on the basketball court like I'm fucking 19, throwing three-point hook shots. I'm just a rare Adama dozen, a needle in the fucking haystack. But when you come across someone who have these uh, potential characteristics or traits. The great thing about an indigo child or, you know, most likely an alpha type, sigma types, they have to be up front because there are rules and there are regulations, okay, you know, when it comes to my protection and your safety because I overthink things. As I said before, when I say schizo, I'm talking about there's a third extra dimensional being talking to us. Most um, NIFJs, uh, if they don't admit, honestly, they don't hear a voice, then they're not that. They're not schizo indigo. Okay, They're not starseed children. Usually, starseed children start to develop very maturely in their age at the age of young, before 10 years old. Okay, 
And of course, they have to find this voice first before they can actually listen to them because it's a third body, an externalism. Like it's external. There's your own conscious, is you, and then there's your own conscious, right? And then there's the third voice, the whispers that most people tend to ignore. Most of society is fucked because they don't listen to that third voice. And most of society is fucked because they, they don't care about education as much. Another trait with INFJs is that education is very, 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 very important. We have a keen eye for reading people a mile away and we are 90% accurate. We, we might even become close to perfect. You know, though we can get manipulated and we have been lied to, we are the greatest humanitarians. I am a missionary. Yes, by the way, I'm too many things to list. A lot of guys will try to copy and bite off my style. I'm the Emerald Pillar guy, as I said this before, you know, but I have many names. I go by many names. I'm a watcher in this world. I don't like the human race as a whole, most of them. Okay? It's only a few handful of people, okay? But of course, um, I love animals more than humans. Okay, I, I am a very honest and upfront person. Most people who are not upfront are betas. Okay, I'm gonna repeat this again. Beta people are emotional. They need to latch on to some sort of an external attachment to tell you some stories, but not tell you all of their history or their their telltale signs or the things that they hate and they love. I will tell you all the things I hate and I love. But I'm low maintenance. Most men in general are low maintenance. Okay, so we don't have to worry about men being narcissists, which they're really not. It's really the opposite sex. Okay, it's the feminine, feministic side of women who think they're equals, but they refuse to read religion. But I digress here. When you come across an INJ, INFJ, these individuals are very astute. We don't play games. A lot of people die because of NFJJ. We could be the greatest psychopaths. Kind of like reminding me of um, a James Spade, okay, who plays uh, Mr. Raymond Reddington on The Blacklist. You should watch that. It's on Netflix. Nine seasons. I think the 10th season is coming out on February 23rd, okay? And it's a very, very articulate, put-together show. To me, it's right next to Law and Order. Okay, it's about a guy who's trying to protect America's interests because he's the, he's working with the CIA, but he is a cold-blooded psychopath, that killer. But at least he tells you not to fuck with him. You already know that you should fear this guy. You know, you join him because you feel you're elite and you should join his squad. But that's just how it is. That's what all it comes down to. You're joining someone who is of the elite. Most people cannot contend with this, or they'll act, okay? There's a lot of actors out there, okay, you know? And when I come across them, I say, oh, you are like this. These are, this are the things you got to work on. These are the... Most people are not paranoid, okay? Most people do not hear a voice, okay? And most people don't even use their intuition, especially women, okay? I'm not hating on women. I'm just trying to tell you, if the world was a better place, where would, women would use their intuition more and not for their superficial means. As a matter of fact, if women... Were basically to get more permission from their fathers if they did have their alpha fathers, which most people haven't had in their life. The world would actually be a better place if people was actually more interested in education rather than superficial means by following the masses to sheep to slaughter. You know, the world would be a better place as well. Okay. Like I said before, you know, if you don't hear any specialized voices or you, you can't show your power. See, my ability is to speak things into light, you know, not magically like there, but... It's like a strategic type of voice that talks to me and say, this person will suffer. And I have no idea how that person is going to suffer because the voice has told me something that I don't know about a person. And I'll be like, maybe so. So you got to test things out. This is very important to test things out, peoples. And if you're in your INFJ listening to me, it's best to save time. But there's still a chance you could be manipulated, but you have to save time by testing Every form of relationship that you come across out, including your daughters, your your wives, your girlfriends, you can't, there's no, you don't trust. Trust is not, it's not even earned. You just don't trust people, okay? Things happen, okay? You know, know thyself over everything else. And that's all I really wanted to say. The things you don't say to NF, uh, INFJs is basically anything that will contradict yourself into a foolery, 
into a corner to death, okay? Because I don't even try to. Me, I, if I do things physically, it's done. And I'm not getting caught by the law because I study law, okay? I actually help guys as the Emerald Pillar King to use manipulation in a good way to win in the court systems. Over the past three years, men has been, I think there's a growing number of men who is actually listening to my, my voice, okay? You know, learn how to initiate divorces, learn how to file paperwork so you can keep your property. They learn how to get to file paperwork so you can get primary custody and alimony. I teach a lot of guys a lot of different things, okay? But of course, my voice would not probably be heard because most people are very biased and they, they look at an image or they think I'm too crazy or kooky or something like that. But that's okay. That's a part of my plan. But if you knew me personally, you could join my Patreon, okay? I can be your virtual father that you never had or some eccentric associate friend that can actually help you in your means of your life. As I said before, if the universe has brought you to me, you shall know. All right. There's not a lot of uh, INFJs out there. Yeah, I took the test and of course I passed it. But I think that you have to understand something. Um, When you take these tests, you could be a little bit of each thing, but you got to really think about it. OK, you know, if you're more of this or you're more of that or if you're in the middle, because I'm more of an introvert. OK, I do not. I do not socialize. With, I, my trust is completely shot down. It's like. Okay, you want to be cool with me because I'm cool, right? You know, you got to literally test a person because what people say behind your back is their true face. And what my ex did to me, even though she was a virgin and I lost my virginity to her, okay, I tested her out and still won the battle. I even allowed her to do some bad things, okay, and I told her the outcome is going to be terrible for you. And I feel bad for anybody who comes across a quote unquote um, pathology um um, a good psychopath, okay, you know, um, psychopathy is real, people, if you don't study it, it's best to stay away if you're not ready, right, there's a lot of people who are not ready to be in relationships, They're, they shouldn't even be in relationships at all, because they don't even know themselves, they don't get permission from their fathers, I keep, I'm going to repeat this until I'm dead in the ground, okay, most people are unhealthy. They fit in with everybody else. Okay, they 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 pick and choose things to cause their demise. Okay, you know, I'm more paranoid than just walking out that door and eating the wrong foods. My health is optimum. I do not care for anybody's opinion about how they think something should be forced upon me because there is no way, you know, I'm taking stupid nineteen. Okay, people with a lot of common sense. The more common sense you have, the more research you do. Very important peoples, okay? And this is why you are the company you keep. You are everything you eat, okay? You are what you eat, okay? There's, you know, a lot of things you do is what you are. And when you try to give education, if you're an alpha or a sigma, or you're trying to be eccentric like myself or introverted, and you're trying to be esoteric or something, talking about aliens and shapeshifters and telling people how there's more than just humans upon this planet who are highly intelligent and sophisticated, just watching over us as the time goes by, people will ignore you. And it's okay to be different. You don't want to be filling in and being too ambitious with anything in this world. Okay, It's very fleeting. It's very temporary. All right. But other than that, what else is there to say? You know, so schizo means an out of body experience to an embodied voice that's not your own. And I've started hearing that ever since as a child. And when they speak, it's usually 90 percent. It comes to light. There's three of them I hear. I hear the Socrates. I hear the Jesus. And then I hear the devil. The devil I never listen to. I always argue with the devil. The devil went on and tells me that mix some concoctions together and do this and do that. And I said, why would I need to do that when you are on my side? If you're talking to me, you go out and get them. You know, if you care about my life, you want me to live. You go out and get them. They tell me to do all sorts of things. Possession is real. So you got to be careful where you go, people. That's another subject for another day. Please understand possession is real. There are people who don't know what they're doing and they're not themselves. Or you may call it um, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, um, um, so-called um, uh, psychologists or therapists don't believe in uh, possession, okay? You know, if, if people just said that they were possessed, then they would get away with it. They'll be pleading the fucking cop in the sense of sanity plea or some shit. 
You can't remember when you're possessed, okay? Just say it. You know, I can't tell you. Don't say, just say that, okay? You know, you were possessed. I don't remember. Now, I don't have a motive, God damn it, to kill 15 people. But anyway, I have no intentions on being around people. It's just a, it's a lonely life, but it's really not lonely. I got two daughters. I'm a father, and I traveled. I'm the one who started the Passport Brothers. I'm, I try my best. To, I'm trying to help them before they go out there. A lot of times... These guys going out there and they don't know <laughs> what, what the origins of that shit is. If you got money, don't travel overseas. It's not as easy as you think it is. And there's a lot of prostitutes out there too. And I've been out there living out there for two years in Ethiopia. I back up my shit on video. I'm on porn up too. And I'm also on family up fans only. Ain't no man can do that. These things I can do. I like to stay in the background though. I don't like to be in the front. I try to tell guys to get out of the front. You got millions of subscribers. Somebody's coming to eventually get your ass. I hope you make your money and live out in the woods somewhere. Don't don't be offered any uh, monies to be traveling to some studio to talk. You know, just keep to yourself and stay on your videos and don't travel because of money. Because you can get yourself hurt. But other than that, that's all I really got to say, guys. Some guys. I'm not Joe Average. Man, I'm not. Yo, Peter Pan. Are you a schizo indigo child? You have to be a schizo indigo before the age of 10. If you say that you are God and you have no sins, then you are a schizo indigo. Okay? And if you hear a voice when you're in your dreams and have vivid, livid dreams, colorful dreams like I do, get in touch with me. Get in touch with me ASMP. ASMP. Okay, because it's very rare to find like-minded people who are on another page, okay? You know, because me, I have told people time and time again that there are people with special abilities, but you just got to keep that shit to yourself or they're coming for your ass. <laughs> I could be fucking people around when I say I have special abilities, but maybe not. Okay? I just caused a lot of things to happen i caused it my ex-wife caused the covid thing because she suffered me when i suffer it's like the rocks will split in two like jesus christ who died on the cross because this world is not really favored but only when the the other spiritual beings that come into this world from different formations come in and they can evaluate like myself you know me i'm only happy in this life about 40 percent because i haven't got my three wives and my 12 kids yet so <laughs> But um, I have some things I got to try to do my best to try to help you brothers out and you and your sisters, too, because I'm not a chauvinist. There are women who follow me. You know, I talk to them all of the time. I talk to too many women internationally. Okay? And whatever happened to that girl in, in the Gambia? You know, I, I, already, I said this before. I made a video, but you probably looked at my video somewhere. You know, she lied and she thought she was a fucking virgin and she probably lied to just try to trap me. And eventually she did just want to come to America. You know, that's why she lied. OK, so she, well, she she's not going to tell me that. I just know. OK, because there's, there's, there's a lot of signs she gave off, you know, did a lot of good things for her. Had a good time in the Gambia. I lived in the Gambia for like about a month. I lived in Ethiopia for two years. Just check out my old videos. It's pretty interesting. My life is very interesting. More interesting than most people's lives. But I usually keep to myself a lot of times. I do these videos for therapeutic purposes. And then the last time I talked to a therapist, he was shocked that I knew about reverse osmosis. I was like, damn, you think I'm you think I'm stupid because I'm black or something? You know, there's so many biases. Okay? You know, people just looking at people and they're like, oh, you sound stupid. I said, I'm not stupid, dude. Okay, that's why your government's paying me for my abilities and shit. I'm not stupid, okay? And I'm not retarded or delusional, okay? But other than that, to each his own. Because I'm not Joe Rash Man. I'm not Joe Peter Pan. And also, I want you guys to know, I am on Twitch. I do game. I got to get me a new camera, though. You can't see me, but you can probably, most you can hear me. Because you be playing the game and, and hear the game on my camera. I want you guys to understand that if you have a, always do deductive reasoning like a detective to see if when you're gaming or twitching, okay, to twitch, find out if it's part of the equipment or is it your settings. And nine times out of ten, it is actually the equipment. So check and see through trial and error and deductive reasoning. And I found out my camera was making my stream laggy in the audio. 
and I had a C299, okay? And uh, I think it was a C922 uh, uh, Pro camera. Huh? And it was working for years, and all of a sudden it broke down. I think it's probably an update or firmware, okay? But other than that, that's all I want to say. Just check out the, the bio down there, okay? Just check the fucking description. If you want to join the Patreon, that's good. You can join in first tier, second, third, and fourth, and we will always talk. But other than that, you know, to each his own. Y'all have a nice day, and be safe. And be paranoid, too, you know. Peace.